Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You're like totally. So I've got to flip you around. I can't flip you around. I gotta flip this around. No, that doesn't work. Hold on. Flip you this way. First thing. Okay, got it. Oh my gosh. What a day. Okay. Ugh, take off my mask. Oh my gosh. Hold on, I've got to, I'm back in my car and I, I haven't driven my car in two months. And believe it or not, I'm like all discombobulated with it. I, 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 I've been driving like a car car for two months that now I'm like, what the hell's going on? Um, I feel like I'm so high up and I'm sorry, I'm trying to fix this um, silly phone holder thing because it's not the one that's on my side, it's the one that's on the other side of the car. But anyway, oh my gosh. Went for my mammogram today. Let's see. And if my appointment was at 1.30, I didn't get out of there for two hours. Um, and let's see, the girl that did the mammogram, I, I swear, I don't think I've ever had that girl before. It used to be an older lady, a very older lady. And then there was like somebody else, but I don't think this was her. And I kept feeling like, you know when they say like, okay, first I did it totally wrong, like step to the left, no to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. But usually the people I've had spend so much time positioning you. No, no, a little bit like this. No, can you swing your leg in a little bit? Like, like this lady was like, okay you know, she was doing it, I guess, but it didn't even feel like the machine was tight or anything. You know what I mean? It felt like, I felt like saying like, are you sure that's like the way it should be? Cause like the last thing I want to hear is like that I have to get extra radiographs because it wasn't right. So she goes, let me just make sure we have a right picture, right? Two to the left, two to the right. Then she goes, let me go see the radiologist and see if he thinks it's good. So she goes, the radiologist said, it's fine. Just wait for your sonogram. My gosh, I waited so long for my sonogram. And then they always freak me out with the sonogram because I know like where they say like this, whatever. I just found out uh, the last time I went that it was a cyst. I didn't know what it was, okay? So I know like where it is. I can't feel it. Mm -mm. But immediately, I guess she has a paper two tally and like, I'm like, oh gosh, she's stopping there. So that means it's still there, great. And it seemed like she was spending so long. And then I felt like she was going like so long on a few other places and I'm like, great. And then she goes, don't get dressed yet. Let me go show this to the radiologist and um, he'll tell me if we need any more pictures. So then she comes back in after, I don't know, 10 minutes and says, okay, you're all good. Now see, the last times they would say you're all good, but they just want to follow up in six months or something. I don't even remember. Isn't it a shame that I don't even remember? But this is like two years now. This is, this is the second year. And she goes, you're all good to go. And I think like the last time I was like, oh, everything's okay. And I think she said, yeah, nothing's there. But this time, last time she said, no, th this is how I found other cysts. She said, the cyst is still, I said, a cyst? Yeah, she goes, it's still there, but it's the same size. It hasn't moved. It hasn't changed at all. So she comes in and says, you can go now. Everything's good. And I said, well, wh what do you mean everything's good? 
is it still there? Is it not there? Has it changed? Like, what's the deal? And she goes, um, oh, nothing's changed. It's there, but nothing's changed. It hasn't grown. It hasn't um, moved. You know, she's like, it's fine. And I said, but what do I do now? And she goes, well, in these cases, we normally, uh, you know, follow you for two years. And I don't know where you are in that process. And I'm like, I don't think I'm the two years. So she's like, yeah, so I went out to the front desk. They didn't know anything. They were like, call the doctor. So I guess it's good news, but I just wish it would have been gone. But I don't know. I really don't know. Like, had I not asked any questions, maybe like the other time, I don't know if I asked questions or not. Um, you know, who knows? I, I don't know. I don't know. How the freak? I've got to get uh, I'm back on the highway. They're doing all this construction. Construction. Um, I have to get to not 17 East. No, no. I have to get to 17 West. Oops. Where's the West? We must go to the West. We have to go to the West. This is stupid. <laughs> I just want to go home. Um, okay, I guess I'm going to have to turn around and Burger King or something. I don't know what we're going to do here. So, whoa, watch out, buddy. You're clipping your corner a little bit too cornery. <sighs> so, yeah, so we got that done. And then I was starving, so hungry, and all I could think of was nuts. I want nuts, unsalted nuts. And so um, I went to Aldi's, and they had so many unsalted nuts. Now that I said that, everybody's going to go there for the unsalted nuts and there'll be none, none left the next time I go. So I got a bunch of unsalted nuts. And then they had the really pretty festive, um, they're from Germany. The chocolates I get for the kids and stuff, they're like wrapped as Santas. They have them as bells and Santas and they, they're actually ornaments you can even hang on your tree and angels and things like that. So I picked up those and then a big wrap Santa for each of them. They have, they're really, I love those. They remind me of the vintage kind when we were kids, they're the same kind. And nuts and I just, I bought a bunch of nuts, a bunch of nuts. I was starving. I still haven't eaten anything, but I'm going home because I have something that I want to eat at home. I don't want to eat, I don't want to eat fast food. I have really nice lasagna that I want to eat at home, so I'm going to go home and have that. And then we're doing candle making. That's why I'm coming on here too, to remind you that we're doing candle making at eight o'clock. And I might even do some ornaments too. I don't know. So, yeah. And you know what? If you really want to do candle making with us, I know some people who have use the wax from like the Dollar Tree candles, the plain ones, and melted it down. I know some people, oh my gosh, you want to talk about scams and stuff? 
there were these people that were supposedly selling, this is like when I first started doing lives on YouTube, these really, really high-end candles, but they were going to the Dollar Tree and they were taking like scented candles too and like just mixing, melting everything down again, mixing it all over, like mixing it all together, all, not all over, all together and putting it in like a different thing, labeling it with their thing and they were like, oh, this is my signature set. These are, these are high, high end candles. And then somebody started fighting with them that knew what they were doing and they went all over YouTube saying that, you know, so-and-so's candles, they're from the Dollar Tree. That person melts down the Dollar Tree candles and, um, you know, puts them in a different container. That was, when I think of that, my gosh, like four years ago. And Chris Reeve, I missed you going to the old time pottery outlet. I hope somebody taped it for me. But, um... I haven't been in Zoom. I was in Zoom this this morning before I left, but I haven't been in Zoom all day. Now I feel like I'm going to sneeze. But, uh, what was I saying? I don't know what I was saying. But if even if you can't join us making the candles, stop in and say hello. to make it a festive holiday season. I want to get my tree up. I want to get things done. I really wanted to get diagnosed with COVID. And it really put a damper on Christmas in every single way. And my brother's already asking, are we doing Christmas at the restaurant? I can't wait to come. What size shirt does Michael wear? What size shirt do the boys wear? What do I get for that? So he's like all excited with like freaking bells on. So such a great time at Thanksgiving and uh, so I have to figure that out I've talked to my son and see what we're doing and what else um, I want to start a little bit of baking I might start that tonight I don't know I might I've also got to do a spin bike session I was in Bermuda I don't know if I'm going to stay in Bermuda Trader's good in Bermuda. And Bridget, I don't know about, I know you said, oh, find me on there. I really have to get into finding people on there, like, and finding out what to do on there. I am so far behind, and I want to do some more with my floor cleaner. Oh, and I've got to make the thumbnail because Rosalita to the Rescue is coming Sunday. I'm thinking 9 o'clock if that's okay with Rosalita. If she'll do 9 o'clock. I don't know if anybody watches this lady. I was talking about it in Zoom this morning. Her name is Helen Wyatt. She's 84 years old. And she's been on YouTube for like six years, I think. So she started her YouTube channel in her late 70s. And she's a really sweet lady. And a lot of people think of her as their grandma. And I think when she first started out, she did a lot of like... DIYs, things like with concrete and stuff like that. Well, I guess I must have subbed to her at some time. And she lives in Georgia. 
and today something came up in my feed and it was like grandma's not feeling well or, grandma's not doing well grandma's not feeling well and I'm like what the heck and it was just went live and I click into it and this woman's on the couch under these blankets and I guess it's her son who's probably in his 60s or so himself and he's got a very thick southern accent and he's like mama's not feeling well you know and then they're looking for the grandson to come and she's like well somebody sent her one of those COVID tests so they did that she was negative but people were freaking out she um normally she can have anywhere from 200 to 500 usually watching her doing anything it could be out in her backyard but today there was like 700 or something and people are freaking out. I don't know if any of you watch her. Call 911, she's 84 years old, this is not right. And other people were like, get this off the internet. Those people are gonna kill you. Like, you know, like meaning that the trolls are gonna be so nasty. And then so they do the COVID test, she's negative. They say that, okay, we're going to get you, to, we're going to, we're fixing it, take her to the uh, doctor. So then it comes up in my thing, comes on live again. The grandson's in the hospital room with her in the background. And the first thing this lady says, and she has some kind of a keto, I don't know if it's a channel or whatever it is. She's like, get off the internet with this. Don't do this. I can't believe this. This is crazy. This is crazy because I guess she thought that they were going to attack her. And then the, the, the grandson's like, I don't care what they do. Grandma's the one that told me to go live because she wants to give you all an update. You know, and it's her, it's her decision. She cares about you guys. She doesn't want you wondering what's happening. So he starts going through, you know, she had this test, she had that test, she had this test, she had that test, she doesn't have the flu. She's gonna come home, she has some bacteria in her blood or something. People were losing their loving minds, screaming. You know, you either had and the ones that are saying, leave him alone. If she wants, what the hell, look at that guy. Oh my gosh, he was flying. What in the hell? Thought he was gonna crash right into that car. That was nutty. Did you hear the sound his car made? That's crazy. Everybody's speeding their brains out. I guess it's Friday. I don't know. There's a lot of traffic. I wonder why. Friday night. anyway they were freaking freaking out freaking out I hope she's okay I think she's gonna be okay he was just saying like she had um, she might have been a little dehydrated people were like she doesn't drink enough water she never drinks water she's dehydrated go take her but the one keto lady she was freaking out she's like Get this off. What's wrong with you? This is crazy. Don't put this on the internet. And it reminded me of back like my COVID stuff. It's like, oh my gosh, take a chill pill, people. And then so he actually walks over to the grandmother and he's like, grandma's waving. And he's like, tell them, grandma, you wanted me to go live and put this on, right? And she's like, yes. Oh my gosh. And like two days ago, she was like building a chicken coop or a cordless um, screw gun in her hand. Interesting. Uh, we're probably going to get disconnected in a few minutes. And you know the scoop. I, I usually, I haven't done a drive home in a long time. But you know we're going to get disconnected. Gee, let me off this crazy ship.
So we got like $700 of oil today. Oh, yippee. Yippee. Isn't that crazy? Everything's gone up so much. my electric bill, so oil and electric, that's fine. Cool. Yippee. Um, just remembered that. Linda Uribe, I don't know if you're in the chat, but if you are in the chat, I apologize last night that I didn't see your super chat because I was busy behind the scenes, you know, going through that story, whichever one we were going into, and then finally, I think it was Deborah Vancouver did, and it was like, excuse me, right? Because my sound was not up on my Zoom. I couldn't hear. So I didn't hear anything. So I think Scooter called again. And then Deborah broke in, or she was trying, she was trying to say something, but I couldn't hear her. My volume wasn't up, and I was just yakking away, yakking away, yakking away. But Linda Uribe sent me a very nice super chat, and it was um, the anniversary of her husband's passing, and uh, said a lot of nice things. And we have prayers for Linda Uribe's husband, and thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Oh my gosh, I have to sneeze so bad. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm gonna lose connection to obviously. Oh my gosh, thank you. Off. I don't know whether it's like just well anyway it's going to drop out and I hope that you see us around 8 o'clock my windshield what's my windshield it's like Dirty or something. Not dirty. It looks like somebody has frost on. Frost drop.
something and try to clean this windshield. Now I probably made it worse. What is all over my windshield? I don't know if it is freezing because it feels ice cold. What time is the temperature? It's 35. 